Now, we all know the name William Floyd. There's a major parkway and high school named in his honor. But did you know he was a wealthy plantation owner and one of the largest slaveholders in New York? A memorial at the Floyd Estate in Mastic Beach tells the story of how the family evolved from slave owners to abolitionists. News 12 Long Island's Virginia Huey shows us in tonight's tribute to Black History Month. Simple, stark, and somber. These seven wooden crosses located on the William Floyd Estate of Mastic Beach memorialize the slaves who toiled on the grounds of the former plantation. They're separated by a fence from the elaborate stone memorials to the Floyd family members buried there. And I just found it very moving. Photographer C.O. Morrow of Roslyn stumbled upon the old cemetery while shooting photos of the estate for the National Park Service. He decided to document the slave markers in a photo exhibit called The Other Side. To shed light on a little known chapter in history, slavery in colonial Long Island. Without their labor, there's no question that William Floyd could not have the freedom to do the things that he did as a politician and as a general during the American Revolutionary War. Floyd was a signer of the Declaration of Independence and a major general in the Revolutionary War. As a plantation owner, he was one of the largest slaveholders in New York, owning 14 slaves. We had uh, house slaves who worked in the house doing the, uh, the laundry and the cooking. There were slaves working in the fields, uh, tending the stock, and they were uh, cutting firewood. The Floyd family's attitude towards slavery began to change in the mid-1800s after slavery was abolished in New York State. In 1862, William Floyd's great-grandson, John Gelston Floyd Jr., enlisted in the Union Army to fight against slavery during the Civil War. So this is the, um, the Civil War poster. This is the recruiting poster he used to encourage others to join the fight. After the Civil War, the Floyd family places slave crosses in the family cemetery in recognition of their service at the estate. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. And a photo exhibit of the Floyd Slave Cemetery is now being shown at the Oyster Bay Historical Society through March 29th.